In this video, we're going to talk about revolving the region between y equals x squared and x around a horizontal line, or excuse me, a vertical line, and let's start with the y-axis. So, now uh, we need to take a horizontal slice, because I want to take that slice so that there's no curvature. That slice is going to have a height of delta y, and we're going to see what it takes to revolve just that slice around the y-axis. Well, that means we need a measurement of the radius. If we were to pull that out, we would that slice, it would look like a washer. Sometimes you'll hear this referred to the washer method, with the y-axis just being a dot right down the middle. So we need this little radius and this big radius. Now, what we can see is these are going to be values of x. This could be x sub small for the small radius and x sub large for the large radius. So they're x values. So what we're going to need to do is get our curves defined as, as functions of y. Easy, very easy for the line y equals x, it's just x equals y. And also very not too bad for this one either, if we take the square root of both sides on the right hand side of the plane, this is x equals square root of y. So we do need our functions to be invertible if we're going to do this, at least on the region that we're looking at. We also need their intersections, 1, 1, and 0, 1, 0, excuse me. Now the setup is generally the same as for going around the x-axis or a horizontal axis, which we've seen. Uh, pi times big radius squared minus little radius squared, here's the first change. It's going to be delta y, or dy. And our limits are going to be the y values. Now, in this particular problem, the x and the y values are the same, but realize you would use the y values because we're looking at a change in y y ranges from 0 up to 1. So, we need to plug in our big radius. Big radius is from here out to here, so it's x equals square root of y. So the big radius is square root of y squared. And the little radius to right here is the line x equals y. So just y squared dy. This simplifies quite nicely for us. This is solving for the volume. So we have pi times the integral from 0 to 1 of y minus y squared dy. We'll do this one piece by piece. It's going to be pretty quick. So pi times y squared over 2 minus y cubed over 3. And since we're going from 0 to 1, we don't really need to worry about the 0, because 0 and plugged in for these is 0. So pi times 1 half minus 1 third, which is 3 6 minus 2 6 times pi, or a volume of pi over 6. So again, we can do that very quickly. Let's do one quick variation while we have this on here. Let's go around a horizontal line that is not the y-axis. So let's extend our x-axis out here and let's say we want to go around the line maybe x equals 2. So I would drop in this is the line x equals 2 and now what's going to happen is this is going to get revolved this way right through our last problem. So it's going to get revolved around that axis. Most of this problem will stay pretty much the same in that in looking for the volume the integral is still going to go from 0 to 1 because the y values will go from 0 to 1. It's still going to be pi times big radius squared minus little radius squared dy. The only thing that's going to change is what the big radius and little radius are. So the little radius is going to be the distance from the line of revolution out to the first curve. So let's darken it a little bit. It's going to be that line right there. 
Now in calculating this, we know from here to here is 2. And notice from here to here is going to vary depending on where we make our slice. It's going to be vary based on this curve, which is square root of y. So the length of this line is 1 minus square root of y. That would be the radius, or not 1, excuse me, 2 minus square root of y. So our big R, let's put it right here, is 2 minus square root of y. Because this whole thing is 2, this here is y, depending on where we're at, 2 minus square root of y. It's very similar for our small radius. It's this line right here. 2 is the whole thing. We're always going to be subtracting off whatever y is. So little radius is just 2 minus y. So let's go ahead and plug those in, and we'll see what we get. So v equals 0 to 1, pi times. First, we're going to have 2 minus square root of y squared minus 2 minus y squared dy.